foods. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday. It's Friday, so it is weigh-in day. It is the third weigh-in of the month of August. I cannot believe we're already almost at the end of August. Seriously, this year has flown flown by, but I'm getting very excited because in September I'm actually headed to San Diego to see my best friend. So as the time ticks by, I'm pretty glad it's going rather quickly. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how my week was. We'll talk about my week. We'll set some goals for the next week in August. I'm of course going to share my weigh-in with you and we're going to talk about this week's WW workshop topic. So if you're excited for another Friday weigh-in, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do a weigh-in video every single Friday, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend taking advantage of this as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So let's jump into this week's weigh-in workshop topic and chat a little bit about how my week went. I said I cannot believe we are almost at the end of August. I know I say this every week, but it just seriously blows my mind how fast this year has going, especially compared to 2020. So let me know down in the comments if you feel like the month of August is flying by for you or if you feel like it's just dragging on and on. I had a pretty good week this week. I am consistently tracking. I have been tracking every single day. Good bad, really bad. I'm still plugging everything that goes into my mouth into my tracker. So I'm really proud of myself there. This last week, I did only get in two days of jazzercise. If you're in my Facebook group, you saw that I made a post about self-care and I took Saturday off from jazzercise, not because I didn't want to go, but because I needed a Saturday where I could get dressed put on some makeup, put on some cute clothes, and my husband and I spent the day running errands, picking up all of the product that we need for our new floors that are going to be going in here in just about a week. So we spent the day together running around, we went and had lunch, and then that evening we hosted a barbecue at our house with friends. So it was really nice not to be all sweaty and gross while I was running errands, and to be able to fix my hair and put on a cute outfit and spend the day with my husband dressed up and not straight from a jazzercise workout. So although I skipped my workout, I'm happy that I did for my mental health and for a little bit of self-care. It was seriously such a fantastic, fantastic Saturday. Hello, editing Jen here. As I was getting ready to edit this video, remember that my essential oil order has come in. And in this video, I'm talking a lot about taking care of myself by going to jazzercise. And in some previous videos, I've talked a lot about self-care. So I want to share with you guys this new brand of essential oils that I found. You can purchase them directly off of Amazon. They are extremely affordable and I like to diffuse essential oils in my office all the time. It just makes me feel really zen and calm and focused. And I have four scents of essential oils that I really love. Some are invigorating, some are more calming. And this is from the brand Asa Kukai, I believe is how it's pronounced. And again, I just purchased these off of Amazon. So I wanted to share with you the four that I picked up if you're looking for a little bit of self-care as we navigate through the rest of August. So the first oil that I picked up is lavender. This is only $5.99. All of these oils are 100% pure, no additives and no fillers. They're also cruelty free. And the scent of these is so strong and rich. I mean, it smells so good. If you love lavender, my husband loves lavender. This one I really like to kind of calm me and put me into that focused zen state. So again, $5.99. Then I also picked up the tea tree and I really like this one too. 
because it's very, very invigorating. You know when you tea tree your hair with shampoo, scalp massage, it's so invigorating. That's what I really like about the tea tree. A little of this one goes a long way. Again, all of these oils are 100% pure and cruelty free, no fillers. This one is $6.99. And then I had to get peppermint as we move into the holidays. You guys know my love for peppermint, peppermint flavored things, peppermint scented things. And this just gives me all of those holiday vibes. And this one is also only $5.99. And the last one that I picked up is eucalyptus. And this is another one that just invigorates me. Oh, gets me going. This one smells so incredibly delicious. $6.99 for this one. I will link all of these oils down in the description box for you. And I found a code for 30% off. So if you're interested in picking up any of these essential oils, these are therapeutic grade oils. And I just can't believe how affordable they are. And these are 10 milliliter bottles. I just want to share those with you really quickly since they came in. And it's just one of my very favorite things when I'm working your way or wanting to de-stress or relax. I love diffusing some essential oils. I will also link my diffuser down in the description box. I bought that one off of Amazon as well. So let's get back into this week's weigh-in. I will say that this week was not good in the aspect that I started my time of the month on Monday. So I'm still not feeling 100%. It really hit me hard this week. I am exhausted. I mean, physically exhaust. So I was hoping by the time Thursday rolled around and I started back at Jazzercise, my energy would be back a little bit. And it was, I mean, I'm still feeling a little bit fatigued and tired, but I'm at getting to the end of my cycle now. So thank goodness, because some months just hit me really hard. And this month was just happened to be one of those months. Although I wasn't overly hungry, I was overly tired this entire week. Let me know down in the comments how your week was as well. But before we jump into my way in, let's talk a little bit about this week's workshop topic. And I really like this topic. It's absolutely something that I struggle with. And that is having a positive body image of ourselves, body confidence, and learning how to change our thinking from negative to positive. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly putting myself down when I look in the mirror, talking about my fat stomach or my back fat or my double chin or whatever your issue is with your body. We need to learn to not talk so negatively to ourselves about our bodies. We need to redirect those things and remember how amazing our bodies really are and what they do for us that's positive every single day. We all have that certain body part that really truly is our least favorite part of our body. I know for me, my least favorite part of my body is my back fat. I have always had back fat. Even when I was at my thinnest, I've always just had that roll of fat on my back. I'm very self-conscious of it. It's my least favorite part of my body. I took the steps from WW to try to rethink how I really feel about my back fat. So number one is to visualize a part of your body that you're focused on. So for me, I always say that my back is fat. I have rolls of fat on my back that just don't go away. Tip number two is to think about that part of your body. So my back in my case, and what exactly my back does for me every single day. My back holds me up straight. My back helps me through my jazzercise workout. My back helps me lift heavy things. I need my back to hug my husband or to snuggle my dogs. My back gives me a lot of purpose every single day with or without my back fat. And number three is create an affirmation that celebrates that body part that you just don't love about yourself. I appreciate my back because it helps me have a nice strong core. It helps me make it through my workout. And if I didn't have my back, I wouldn't be able to snuggle my dogs or to give my husband a hug at the end of a long day of work. When those nagging thoughts about your least favorite part of your body come up, just try to shift those into something more positive. Think about the purpose that that particular part of your body has. And remember that there's always a silver lining. There's always a positive, even in our most hated part of our body. Try to make that mental shift into focusing on something positive, even when the part of our body is in our mind, a negative part of our body. We all have fat. We all have fat on our backs, our stomachs, our hips, our thighs. We're no different than anybody else. So remember that the next time that you're self criticizing yourself about your fat on your back or your fat on your stomach, it's completely normal. And honestly, the thing that you're most concerned about is probably the thing that most people don't pay any attention to. We're also worried about how we look out in public that we're not paying attention to what you look like out in public. So keep that in mind and just try to shift those negative thoughts into positive ones, even on your least favorite part of your body. I like this topic a lot. I think that building confidence, even in the negative areas is really, really important. 
important. Having body confidence, being proud of the skin that we're in, even if it's not our ideal skin right now. Just remembering all the good things that our body does and how amazing our body is every single day. So jumping into this week's weigh-in, I don't have the best news to report. Like I mentioned, I started my cycle on Monday. As you know, I weigh in today, Friday, and when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually up in weight 0.2. Now, I am not worried about point two. Although it's not the best news in the world, I'm not worried about it at all. It is such a minimal amount, and since I'm ending my cycle, that's most likely where that little bit of a point two gain came from. I'm just going to keep doing more of the same next week tracking my food, doing my exercise, staying in my calories, double tracking my points, all the things that I know that I have to do to see the scale go down. And sometimes, just sometimes, our body doesn't cooperate. As amazing as our body is, sometimes it just doesn't cooperate. And this is one of those weeks for me. But it is what it is. I'm moving on. I'm excited for the weekend. I'm excited to start our flooring and prepare for my trip to San Diego. And I'm just going to continue to focus on the positive. So let me know down in the comments a few things. Number one, how do you feel about how fast August is going by? What is your least favorite body part? And tell me one positive thing about that favorite body part. And of course, how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And remember how amazing our bodies are and what they do for us every single day. We need to give them credit where credit is due and start focusing on the positive things about yourself rather than the negative. Happy Friday, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I can't wait to hear from you down in the comments. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye friends.